was thinking about um, the the lizard people. I read about it, and I've heard about it, and people talk about it sometimes, that there's a, a race of people that are lizard-like, some think that say that it's aliens, and this and that, and I think, pardon me while I move the microphone. My theory on this and where it came from is 10,000 years ago when um, people were hunter-gatherers and in the Caucasus, in the southern Caucasus, people started cultivating the land and stopped traveling around and hunting and gathering and started growing their own food and staying in one place and expanding and growing and that's when civilization really started as we know it the dawn of civilization in the Mediterranean but in the Caucasus the Caucasians, the people with this light skin lighter than the people in the south and what I think happened is we're seeing this from the Su Samaritan, I think it was the Samaritans the Caucasians and the Samaritans and from the Samaritan point of view, life was hunting and gathering and, and living on the earth, living kind of like animals and in packs and moving like birds. And they, the, you know, I don't know exactly what their life was like. I just know that they weren't cultivating the land yet. And when the Samaritans or, uh, saw these people for the first time, when these Caucasians started expanding south, I think, I feel like I'm having a hell of a time explaining this right now. This is good. I got it. Um, just make the eye contact and go, Ian. I know what I'm talking about. They, uh, these Caucasians expanded south. And when they did, they came, they came fast. And they moved quickly and in, in groups and units in this strange way of being that the people, hadn't, the, the people in the south hadn't seen ever, ever. They didn't know what it was, I'm sure. They were... We're probably like, what the hell? What is this? Who, what are these things? They're different than people. They're what are they? They're they're like lizards because they would move quickly. You know, I mean, if a person wants to, they can move like a lizard, looking like quickly. And like when you see someone playing basketball, it's like that 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 motion, that fluidity, isn't as inherent to primates as it is to alligators. But we can do it. It's part of what we are. We all grew up in the same pool of water. So that's where I think it came from. And then they started telling stories about these lizard people. And, you know, people like, when someone will say something, people will whip their tongue out like a, like a snake. I, I see people do it, and I think, man, there really are a lot of similarities. And so that's what I think it is. Not that there's any kind of alien race or actual lizards or anything like that, but that pe they picked up on early, long time ago, they picked up on people's lizard-like traits and started thinking they had lizard gods and this and that. I said this and that twice. Three times now. This and that. I'm really into debunking myth, or not maybe not debunking it, but explaining it, because I think all these people in the Bible, and all these people, all these gods, even Zeus and Hera, and Aphrodite, were all real people at one point. Real monkey people. Real apes, primates, that communicated, and affected a group of people, and then stories were told, and thousands of years went by, and it was written, and then they went from there. Of course. I hit a, a brink. It's like a Choose Your Own Adventure novel. I could hit the stop record button, or I could keep going and talking. For like, I was thinking, oh, there's 10 minutes. I could, or 11 minutes, I could feasibly talk. But what about chemistry? I swiveled the camera past that earlier. Hydrogen and oxygen, man. The reason I think number eight is infinity is because eight is the 
atomic weight of oxygen. And when you put energy, which I believe hydrogen is energy, the atomic weight of one, pure energy, hydrogen, when you put energy into eight, it creates water. When you put two hydrogens, two energies into eight, to oxygen. So I think that over time we have associated the number eight, that feeling of eight, everything about eight with the infinity, with going on forever and the shape of it, because it comes from oxygen, and the combination of it with energy creates water. And water is infinity to me. Water is life and is continuation. With water we survive. We are water. Every, we, our skin was created while like jellyfish is water, but a little hardened. And then, like, down at the bottom of the ocean, the very, very beginning, it was like, it was just water. And then it started to harden and thicken and create what looked like skin or membrane and then a surrounding of it. Still kind of, still water. 99.999% water, and it would be there. And then it would get a little bit more thick, and then it would develop a strand of something that would trail behind it. And then there would be four strands. And then the inside would develop a second layer of membrane and... The water would still be 98.99.994% water and 98% water. and Then it would travel upward as it would thicken. It would become lighter than the water, and it would move upward in the ocean. And then it would get thicker, and there would be more hydrogen involved from the sun, maybe. But there, there's hydrogen coming out of the center of the earth, which is interacting with the oxygen in the crust, or it probably in the mantle, and spurting out of water into the, into the top of the, in the outer layer of the earth. So, that was like, I was like saying it, and then I spun and flew it out uh, with the whole talk about the hydrogen coming out of the earth. But yeah, hydrogen is spewing out. I think hydrogen is coming out of the center of the earth, and the sun, and our bodies maybe. That's a stretch. I'd like to prove that. But like in the, these deep sea trenches, you see water just bursting out of these deep sea trenches up into the ocean. It's pretty cool. It's just like constantly producing it. And there it is, man. The infinite, the infinite life source. We are water. Really, that's what I was talking about. And then we evolve. Like it was like a thickening of water and adding to it would be water and then it would be water and carbon. And then it was water and carbon and nitrogen and phosphorus and all these things that would pick up as it was swirling around and congeal, harden and thicken and put together into a shape. And then electricity would pass through it, which is probably why it was hardening. If you, if you put electricity through water, it releases the hydrogen and oxygen. But then I think what would happen is the hydrogen and oxygen would reform, so it's like it's releasing and reforming and creating this, this heat. And that's maybe where life comes from, where, as we know it, as movement, that, that fusion and fission that's being caused, that electrolysis. This is like a mess of thought, I know, I'm really like, I'm expanding and kind of meshing a lot of different thoughts together. Thanks for bearing with it, if you are. I would, I would imagine that it's somewhat difficult to listen to sometimes. It's really weird to record it and then watch it because I don't really remember the order that I put all these words in, you know? So it's neat to see it strung out. Strung out, dude! Strung out! This is why I'm not making videos. I guess maybe it's good to categorize it. Oh, man. Start my day. Gonna stretch. Maybe I won't even talk about what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do it, you know. There's that thing you know I said. My friend. Dude, I want to talk more about how we're water. We are like 90, either 70 some percent water and 90, it's either we're 70 percent water or nitrogen and we're 90 some percent water and nitrogen, one of the two. But it's over 70 percent water, like we're moving water. And our thoughts are current passing through it. That's cool. Water, the water that we drink, that we have running water in our house, 
we that's all, we're that's just, this is what we are in 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 addition to other elements but water hydrogen and oxygen one and eight